All right, Amen. Todd's got a quickie for us. All right. Um, Todd says, I just learned from my older son that in iOS 15 in the control center, which you reach by swiping down from the upper right-hand corner, you can click on the moon icon in the focus button. To and do what? Indeed, um, it toggles do not disturb on and off. Oh, so this is like the quick tip we shared last week about doing the same thing in Mac OS control center. Mm -hmm. That's inch. Oh, uh, uh. so yeah, not just it, so, tapping the focus. So if you just tap it, it'll disable. But I believe if if you hold it, then it'll go into like the enhanced focus menu with more options than just disable or enable. Do right. Disturb. Right. Uh, so I like it. That's probably good. something that was found totally by accident. <laughs> Yeah, it sounds like it. Yeah, well, and when when we talked about it about Mac, I mean, Mac OS, it's the same thing. It's like, oh, I mean, it, it, you know, these quick tips are things that are super obvious as soon as you know them and not at all obvious right up until that point, at least the ones we've been talking about so far today. So, cool. What's next? All right. Um, speaking of do not disturb, um, Scott has one for us. Um, so during episode 907, you discussed turning on a Mac's Do Not Disturb setting using a variety of keyboard combinations. In my opinion, you missed an obvious solution. My new Amex wireless, Apple wireless keyboard has the Do Not Disturb icon, uh, crescent moon shape, uh, imprinted on the F6 key. It wasn't programmed to turn Do Not Disturb on off automatically out of the box, but it was a 30 second fix to get it to work as intended. Just go to, and we've been here before, uh, System Preferences, Keyboard, Shortcuts, and select Mission Control. Then check the box next to Turn Do Not Disturb On Off so that it's enabled. And then assign a modifier key to F6. Um, he used Option F6 so that you can easily remember it by the icon on the key. I have attached the screenshot. Uh, I'm a keyboard shortcut fanatic and use this shortcut pref pane extensively to modify keystrokes to control every app. For example, I've used this instead of add-ons for mail to switch mailboxes and to move messages to mailboxes. Being able to easily reprogram keys and have them show up in the menu with the correct new keystroke is one of the things for me that makes the Mac the best choice for people who just want to get stuff done. Yeah. Wow. That's really smart. I never, I love this idea. 